Hi guys. I am just walking to get my pony in because we are going to Norfolk for a horsey holiday. Oop, so steps to make my shoe, um, which I'm so excited for, but equally fairly, ooh, out, fairly nervous because I've never done anything like this before. So I'm just gonna go get him in, put him on the lorry. I haven't filmed anything today, it's really windy. So I'm just gonna crack on. So, Basically, Laurie is packed. I just have to bring hay, feeds, and anything else that we want. So, um, I think he's feeling a little bit tired actually because we actually competed yesterday um, and he just did amazing. So we did our second ever elementary um, and he got 65 point, I don't know, like two, I think, percent. Um, which is just, he's just really excelling at this level so far anyway. Um, he's built up his lot of confidence because he lost his confidence at warm up in May. Um, so hopefully we're starting to build it back because my partner saw in the warm up and was like, actually, he looked like he really like, wanted to be there and was like purposeful. Um, and I felt like he wasn't always shying away from other horses. So that's really, really positive. Um, so yeah, today we're spicing things up a little bit and taking him somewhere completely different, testing both of our comfort, what do you call it? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, my arm's really hurting now. So we're gonna go and put this little one on the lorry. And yes, good boy. He's all in and ready. He's a good boy, Mimi, munching away. And then we're gonna head off now. And it's about two and a half hours. It's about two hour 45 then. He'll be a good boy, won't you? You've got everything in there that you need. Good boy. And then we'll see you on the other side. Good boy. Love you. This is a little video of the back. So we've got literally like everything in here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope I have enough hair. I'm going to put this step away. And then he's in there munching away. Good boy. Um, yeah, he's all good. Camera. Bless him, just looking around. My hand's in the way. So my partner's coming with me, but um, he is uh, driving separately because when we get there, I want to be able to have a little drive around, look at different things. Um, and, put the keys, there we go. There we are. Um, well, yeah, have a little drive around, look at different things. And obviously I can't do that in this big lorry. So he's driving separately. So I'm gonna uh, get the sat nav up now. I was wondering if I can, oh. Oh, 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 put my phone on there, perfect. So I'm gonna get going now. It's just started to rain, which is nice. Uh, just in the holiday spirit of things. And I left the window open, oops. Um, but yeah, anyway, gonna get going now, bye. So we've just arrived. My phone is really, really bad at using focus. He's a good boy, aren't you? He's such a good boy. Yes, so we had a little drink, had a little nibble had a drink, nibbling on Haylid. Isn't that so lovely, me? Look at the view. And that's our little hut in here. Oh, the door's about to shut. I'm literally so excited. He's right there. Mm. Hello. <laughs> He's well confused. It's not raining now, Mimi. Getting all tapped up and ready. Always have a little drink. Nice. Uh, they were on from yesterday. Uh, so I just thought I don't want to take them off. So I thought if I take them off, I'll, I'll forget them at the yard. gonna try and go for it before it rains again. He's got a quarter sheet on, let's finish chewing. Just in, 
just in case it does rain. Um, Come on then, you need. No, leave Brian alone. Come on. Brian's like being a mute because he wants to talk on camera. <laughs> there we go. This room. Oh my god, I feel like it's gonna rain like literally as soon as I get on. Yeah, I think. Getting too distracted by everything. We've just got back from our ride. My uh, cheap, what do you call it? Seat saver, th what do you call it? Whatever it is. Um, was worked okay, but you see it's not like the best fit, but it's just nice um, to sit on when you're doing longer rides. But me was absolutely um amazing so he's gonna take all his tack off now give him a little brush and then he can have his dinner um and i think he needs to go for a wee as well he hasn't actually been for a wee since we've got here so yeah he's a bit sweaty actually I didn't expect that it's not even that warm um and obviously when i put a quarter sheet on but i don't actually think i needed to we got caught in a little bit of rain um i don't actually know if i filmed or not oops um, but, ah, oh, it's so nice to get that off. Um, yeah, we got caught in a little bit of rain, but it was, it was like literally barely anything and it wasn't even heavy. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna put me to bed now and then go and find some dinner somewhere. Um, a pub or something, I'm so hungry. And in true Cali style, I really, I haven't actually eaten anything apart from jelly tops and some cake that, um they very kindly put out for us here just because the day goes so quick and i mean like i don't know what time it is now actually what time is it half five so um yeah good boy Mimi. it's actually really surprised me how much he settled but he's probably just like literally shattered um the hair out there Mimi. oh he's itchy um yeah he's probably just literally like shattered uh, he's had quite a few days in it but he's He's actually probably the fittest he's ever been. Um, yeah, anyway, I wore my coat, but I just wanted to show everybody this amazing base layer. It's by Honest Riders. And I wore it because it's long sleeved and I'm probably gonna wear it to the beach tomorrow as well because it's that versatile, it's long sleeved. But as you can see, it's got mesh and it's also got mesh on the back. So it's really, uh, really flattering in terms of its cut and, um, if I stand back, sorry Mimi, uh, you can see it's cut and stuff. Um, and I just think, just checking out my sweat patches, you know what I'm like. Um, but it's very flattering, but also very breathable. So it was perfect where it's probably about 
I don't know, like 18 degrees here. Um, but when it when the wind blows and when it's uh, wet, it does get really like kind of a bit um, cold. So at least you've got a little bit of coverage, but you don't, especially when you're doing a bit of trotting cantering, um, you've got a bit of breathability, which is good. The ride was literally amazing. We did, um, wasn't it Mimi? We did trotting, cantering, um, I did record it on my Equilab app, but I don't think it actually recorded as much cantering as we did because I counted backwards and forwards a couple of times and I, it, I think it just classed it as a trot. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to give him a brush now, get him all ready for bed. Um, he's done more than enough over the last two days. So, um, yeah, he's a good boy, my little Mimi. <laughs> Oh, we need to trip. Me, <laughs> when mm -hmm. you're dinner. a little bit chilly. You know, baby. Oh my gosh, will it not stop going into... Hi. Hi. You're not going to have little sleep. Huh? Good boy. Oh, put that fork out way. Uh, Miki just had his skip out um his rug put on because it's actually quite chilly tonight um i think it's because it's been so wet actually it's rained quite a bit um to redoing his water and giving him a little munch block to have which i probably should have got a little net for instead but he's just munching away through it so that's fine and then he's got his haylage and yeah he's all tucked up bless him he's very sleepy Good morning guys, I'm not even going to lie, I have literally just rolled out of bed and um, yeah, I'm coming out to feed me. I'm just going to get his food out of the lorry. Um, I actually ended up going to bed quite late, um, we were looking at watching Black Mirror, sorry I couldn't figure out where his breakfast was then, uh, we were watching Black Mirror and then I just... I was hoping for an early night and that's all I was but I didn't anyway um so the plan today is put that there in a minute um I'm going to feed me now and uh, give him a groom I'm going to tidy up the lorry because I literally tucked everything in here when we came back from my hat yesterday I was so tired so I'm going to tidy up the lorry and then I am going we're going to go to the beach uh it's about a 50 minute drive I think so it's going to be another long day for him um but this is the fittest he's ever been and I think he's plenty ready for it so um yeah so we're gonna do that and then he'll have the whole day to chill he, we've got a field here so he'll go out in the field um we'll get some lunch and stuff maybe have a little barbecue or something and then um yeah we'll go out for dinner again tonight which I'm excited about anyway I'm gonna get on to it well this just made me realize guys how much um I actually need to have me here home can you hear him he's heard his dinner come out um I actually like it's not even a joke like I actually need to have this horse at home. Um, so this is gonna be, you know, people have their like five, six year plans for their horses. This is gonna be mine. I mean, for their kids, <laughs> their family, this is literally gonna be mine. Um, yeah, anyway, bear with whilst I just um, put some veg, got some celery going in here. 
and I've got some parsnip. So I actually brought him more food with, with, with me than I did, um, yeah, he's kicking the door. He naughty boy, he never does that. Right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> here he is munching away. He actually hasn't been that messy, so he's only pooed here. That side of the bed is completely clear. So, okay, me, you are very clean. Uh, he hasn't actually eaten very much hay though. So, um, I don't actually know. He's obviously not, he, I think he was just so tired last night. He didn't fancy eating an awful lot. But yeah, he's got a big, he's got a lot of big feeds whilst we're here. He's got um, three a day, just cause he's doing that much more. Um, and they're made, obviously I've made them into a mash. So they're a bit watery and nice and hydrating for him. Lots of veg in them as well. So his lunch is a bit smaller um, and has like more veg and stuff in it. Anyway, I'm gonna go and tidy up the lorry now. He's a good boy. Um, and get him right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm not gonna lie, quite nervous, but a little bit excited. And I have to say as well, what, there is something very magical about. I mean, I normally do it anyway, sometimes on a Sunday, but something magical about literally coming out of your house and going to do your hauls in your pajamas. <laughs> what can I say so uh, it's literally there I just I actually don't even want to leave I think I just want to permanently live here and anybody who wants physio treatment bring your horse that's that's gonna be the goal so anyway I'm gonna crack on so it is I don't know what time it's coming my watch on but I think it's about quarter past six now uh, and I'm gonna aim, aim to leave at seven Right, let me go and sort myself out. I actually need to get dressed and ready as well. Um, but it's a little bit chilly this morning. I've got on like a literal t-shirt and then this. So um, hopefully it's not be too windy at the beach. It seems quite calm this morning. So hopefully it's good and the sun's out and it's not raining so far. But we'll bring all the necessary, um, what do you call it, gear. Hey, they're nice. <laughs> right, okay, I'm definitely going now.
Oh, it didn't record. No. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Ah, uh, got your reaction. I have too much time at the beach, but it was just literally amazing. Um, oh, I actually feel like super emotional about it, to be honest, because, um, oh, me coming here, I just want to get the uh, tools out. Um, I feel super emotional about it because he was literally in, oh, he was literally insane. He was so um, brave. He was so active. He was so forward. Um, he just, just felt felt incredible. He was cantering all through the waves. He's never done. Um, sorry, <laughs> got a text come through. Um, but yeah, I am just so Im so impressed with him and so pleased with how he took everything in his stride. And yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna muck out now. It's not too bad, not too messy. So. Um, yeah, muck out, get rid of some of this hay, and then um, he'll have a couple of hours now, hopefully out ooh, in the field. Um, and then, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go now. Started to rain now. Should we come in, Mimi? You got some nice dinner. I'm gonna get him in a minute, but I just wanted to show you this lovely fresh water. And then he's got his lunch and some hay lid and hay and stuff. Um, and then we're going to go out for some lunch ourselves. Well, actually breakfast, because I haven't eaten anything yet today. Oh, hey, he's having his lunch. Good boy, and he's had a drink as well. Oh, guys, I'm literally shattered. Um... I don't know how much I've actually filmed today, probably not an awful lot, but basically we have, my teeth look so weird, <laughs> little shiny bits. Um, we have gone to the beach, obviously, come back. Uh, it was a quite a bit of a drive there, quite a bit of a drive back. Then me, he went out on the field, so I did all of that. Then I put him away, then I said we were going out. We went out for such a lovely meal. And then we went out to a lovely little cafe, had a walk around the Ar Arboretorium. I always pronounce that name wrong, that one, with all the trees. And um, and then we came back here. And I think we got back here around five, half, four, five. It's back, it's nine o'clock now, guys. And I have just basically spent all that time in bed. Obviously, I did meet you when I got back. I haven't given him his dinner yet because he's still munching on his hay and he is also shattered. So he keeps going to sleep and then waking up having a bit more hay and then going to sleep again. So it is nine o'clock now. I'm going to, um, I, just, I think I might close my eyes for a bit and then when I get up a bit later, probably a bit nearer to like more like quarter to ten, go out, give him his dinner um, because he had a late lunch and he's still eating his hay. So it's soaking now. So that'll be soaked by then. Give him his dinner, give him a little bit of a hay cube. And then, um, yeah, and then tomorrow, we're gonna go out for one final hack tomorrow morning and then head off. But I'm still gonna have to get up early because I need to make sure that his field and um, stable are all cleaned out and that the lorry is all clean, that the place we're staying in is all clean as well. So, um, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna shut my eyes now and then I'll take you with me when I take put him to bed tonight. 
but it's actually so cute I'll have to say because I can see him sleeping from my window and it's just it's just the absolute dream your favourite thing to do, Mimi? Pretty much. He loves a tickle on his face. You like it, Mimi? Like nothing ever happened in his nice fresh bed. Mimi, good boy. Did you have a good time? I don't think he wanted to come back, did you? Bless him. So guys, that whole video was filmed ages ago and I completely forgot to uh, film like a finishing, whatever you call it. Um, I don't know like a summary I guess um so here we go um I absolutely loved it I think that was just the most amazing uh experience for me he and I it's something I'll never forget it's made me realize that going to the beach actually um kept him like made him really really strong so when I came back from that trip um he had like a like a light week of hacking um being ridden like once or twice a week yeah, for that week. And he only did one or two hacks. And then I picked him up again and he felt so much stronger. Um, so I'm really realising that actually that was really, really important for him. Um, and I was umming and ahhing whether to actually put this video up because I was like, oh, is it going to be really, really boring? But um, yeah, actually, I, I mean, I think it was nice for me to look back on. But then equally... I think loads of people would love to see that actually like going away on holiday is probably like a, with their horse can seem like a really, really daunting thing. And I was a little bit concerned, not going to lie. Um, but it was just super, it was just super lovely, super uh, exciting times. So I'm going to get back to my really healthy after dinner snack of, um, I've, I read that in the um, camera then. It looks like Milky Lady. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Milky Bar Buttons uh all of which have red there's an amber on the end though that, for the salt so i mean that's probably a really good thing i don't really fancy salty milky button but they're obviously so good for you so i'm going to tuck into these now finish editing but if you like this video um and if you want to see more and uh or if you have any feedback on what uh you what more of it you want to see me do or even um yeah just like future content and all sorts of stuff like that then please like let me know message me and um yeah because I feel like I want to do more of these I do really really enjoy them uh they're not always physio related so maybe I should do a physio one next time um although I can't stop looking at myself in this uh in this viewfinder mirror thing because it looks like if you just take my hair away it looks like I'm just a boy with short hair but I'm not I've got a ponytail <laughs> right anyway I'm definitely gonna go now and thank you for watching bye